Now, <clears throat> about three, four years ago, Stephen Lett, one of the leaders of the Jehovah Witness, Jehovah Witnesses, right? One of the leaders, he had the nerve to say, we are now living in the last part of the final part of the last part of the last days, right? He, he was trying to install this fear in Jehovah Witnesses' hearts by saying the end of the world is about to come any day now. We are in the final part. This, he said this three, four years ago, right? Now, fast forward. I was watching the, the new October broadcast, right? <laughs> and now the same guy says, oh, we don't know when the end's going to come. We don't know. When just three, four years ago, he said the exact opposite. Now, I, I wonder, at what point do Jehovah's Witnesses, what point do they use their common sense? Because the Bible, the Bible clearly says no one knows the hour, the day or the hour when the end's going to come, right? The Bible says this. Three, four years ago, one of their leaders said, oh, we are now in the final parts of the last part. How would he know that if no one knows according to the Bible? And on top of that, these men, the governing body leaders of Jehovah's Witnesses, these nine men in, in upstate New York that dictate 8 million people lives worldwide, right? World, worldwide. These nine men in New York, they tell 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses what to do, how to control their lives, how to live their lives, right? Who to talk to, who to marry, the whole nine. Meanwhile, these same men in their Watchtower articles and recently on stage, these men, they also say, we are not inspired by God. And we are infallible, which means we get it wrong. We make mistakes. We don't always get it right. Now, I'm trying to imagine, I'm trying to comprehend how in the world are there still 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses worldwide following nine men that say, Hey, we are God's spokesmen, but we are not inspired by God and we make mistakes. If they're not inspired by God, then guess what? That means they are not, they are not God's spokesmen. You can't have it both ways. You can't tell people, hey, you got to listen to us or die. But on the other hand, we are not inspired by God. And we are infallible. You can't have it both ways. But you see, this their leaders, this is how they this is how they operate. And you know what's the saddest part? Jehovah's Witnesses, they have no solid proof. They have no solid proof that this is God's true organization. It's all faith driven. It's all emotional. It's all because they was given a sales pitch of living forever on a paradise earth. Meanwhile, you can't even find the words paradise earth in the Bible. Meanwhile, you can't even find a passage where Jesus spoke about people living forever on paradise on earth. You, you can't find that in the Bible. But yet, you here we are in 20, approaching 2024. Here we are. We have 8 million people believing in mambo jumbo nonsense. With no valid proof. We have 8 million people ready to die. For this man-made organization of the Jehovah's Witnesses. People, not only will they die. They will have their kids die. From not taking any blood. And you know what? There is no biblical reason behind that. And the scripture that they use doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Now, make this make sense. Jehovah's Witnesses have no solid proof that this is the true religion. They, like I said, they're ready to die. They're ready to have their kids die for this religion by not taking any blood, right? Meanwhile, when you 
go and purchase a car. Before you go spend money at a restaurant or you before you go to the movies, most people would look at the reviews, right? Because nobody nobody want to waste time. Nobody want to waste want, nobody want to waste money, right? Time and money, nobody want to waste that stuff. So people would do the review. They would you know do the research, look at different reviews before buying cars, before going to the movies, before going out to eat, right? Tell me why Jehovah's Witness. They would not do their research outside of JW.org, outside of their religion, right? Make that make sense. They won't do their research. They will just blindly hear at the pitch, oh, paradise is right around the corner. We have a paradise. They'll, they'll listen to that, oh, paradise. Oh, I like that. But they won't verify. They won't do their research and make sure, hey, listen, what if this sounds too good to be true? How, how do we know that this is a true religion? What if these guys are lying? Like other religions, because all religions are man-made. So how do we know that this religion is not man-made like the others? How do we know? You see, people with common sense, before they devote their entire life to something, they will do their research from all different aspects, all different platforms, right? Just to make sure. Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't do that. They hear a sales pitch about living forever on a Friday's earth. Ooh, that sounds enticing. That sounds appealing. I like that. I like that. And they will devote their entire life to this organization without, listen, without listening and do their research all around. They just listen to one platform, just from JW.org, only from their leaders. But then again, if they do the research outside of JW.org, right? Off the back, the leaders will tell them, oh, it's apostate lies. It's from Satan the devil. If it's not on our website, do not trust it. Do not believe it. What sense does that make? Now, how would a, J how would a Jehovah's Witness know if their leaders align to them? If they don't do their research from all abroad? How would they know? If you're only getting your information from one source, how would you know if that one source is lying to you? How would you know if you're not looking at other information? Because what if you only listen to platform A and platform B, C, D, E, F, all these other platforms are telling you, hey, listen, platform A, no good, buddy. Don't listen to them. How would you know? How would you know? You wouldn't. And it's sad that you have 8 million people blindly believe in this nonsense. So I asked myself, in 2024, with all the information that's, that's given, right? You have the, your governing body leaders, the leaders of the Jehovah's Witnesses, they tell the people, listen, we're not inspired by God. No way, we're not inspired. No, we don't speak to God directly. Oh, and we get it wrong. We're infallible, we have we make mistakes. You have the CSA cases on YouTube, right? And on the news. The stuff that's going on in Pennsylvania with all these elders being, being involved in these CSA cases, right? We have the Australian Royal Commission, Commission, and I think that happened in 2015, 2016, right? But anyone can look that up on YouTube and they can see that their own governing body leader, Jeffrey Jackson, he lied under oath. We have testimonies of thousands upon thousands of former Jehovah's Witnesses that left the organization, right? Now, me personally, this is why I cannot be fake. This is why, me personally, I couldn't stay in a religion for my family, right? This is me personally. Now, when it comes to dating, I don't care, I don't care how enticing, how appealing someone looks from the outside. I don't, you can have fake boobs, fake ass, fake lips. Like I said, I don't care how enticing, how appealing, how sexual it looks on the outside, right? With me, it's all psychological. If I know that you have fake boobs, fake uh, ass, fake lips, if I know it, I'm automatically turned off. I don't care how appealing it looks on the outside, right? It's all psychological. So the same applies with the Jehovah's Witness organization. Once I've done my research, right? Once I did my research, and I said, hold on. 
this organization, the Jehovah Witness organization, is just a man-made organization. It's a publishing company disguised as a religion. I said, what? I said, there's no way in hell. There is no way in hell I'm going to be fake just to keep my family and Jehovah's Witness friends. No way in hell. And on top of that, I said, I'm going to put this to this. I said, if these people truly love me, if my Jehovah's Witness family and friends, if they truly love me, then guess what? I should be able to encourage them to, hey, guys, do your research. Make sure that this is the truth. You think that this is the truth? Verify. Make sure. I should be able to tell these people, hey, listen, I have doubts. I've done my research. I don't think that this is the truth. I should be able to tell these people, I don't believe in this religion, and I should still have these people. If they truly love me, then guess what? My religious perspective shouldn't matter. They should love me for who I am, right? So I put it to the test. I told my mom, my two brothers, I told my JW families and friends, I said, guys, this is not the truth. I want to encourage you guys. Please do your research. The minute I said that, right? Off the bat, oh, apostate lies, you're an opposer. You're speaking bad against the organization. No, we can't talk to you anymore. What? You see, someone with common sense, they should be happy that I've encouraged them to do that. This should, this should have been a hold on. You know what? Our leaders have been telling us that paradise has, is right around the corner. They've been saying it for over 100 years. You know what? Maybe we should do some research because what if th th it's a possibility? What if we're being lied to? How how will we know? How how will we know if we're, not, if we're being lied to if we don't do our research? You see, these people should have been thanking me. That should have clicked. When when you tell people, hey, listen, if you believe in this, just do your research. Just verify. That's all I said. Verify. If you believe that this is the truth, if you honestly believe that this is the truth, you should be able to do your own research outside the JW. Um, website, right? And this should, it should still be the truth. No matter what you see, you should still be able to come back to this and say, you know what? I got the truth. You should still be able to say that. But you know what? Jehovah's Witnesses, they can't do that. The minute you try to help them to think critically, you say anything that goes against the organization, <gasps> a, po a poser, a whistleblower, a apostate. I told all these people, my mom, Two brothers, I told all my Jehovah's Witness friends I've known for 15, 20 years, guys, do your research. And instead of listening to me, just like that, shunned. Ostracized, shunned completely, right? These people, my family, my JW, former friends, they would rather waste their entire life waiting for a paradise earth that's never going to come. Meanwhile, they can't even find the words paradise earth in the Bible. I told them, there's no passage where Jesus spoke about a paradise. There's nowhere in the Bible, nowhere. There's not one verse that says, hey, people are going to be living forever on paradise earth. And it's going to be a new world where people are going to live forever. There's nowhere in the Bible that says that. Nowhere. And these people, my family, my JW friends, they would rather listen to nine men that has promised them a seldom fake paradise. These people, 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses, they would rather waste their entire life waiting for something that's never going to happen when they can all do their research and they can all wake up right now. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. So, for all of you people out there, there are all of you Jehovah's Witnesses. If you're just staying in just to please your family and friends, keep this in mind. They're not your real family and friends. Family isn't always, it might be blood. Your, your blood, your family might be blood, right? But that doesn't mean that they're your real, real family. Because guess what? People, your real family, they're going to accept you for who you are, not for what you believe in. Like I said, I put it to the test. I said, hey, listen, if my family and my friends, if they're truly going to love me, they're going to be by my side no matter what. I should, they should know that at the end of the day, I'm still a good person. All I did was encourage them to do their research. And like I said, they'd rather listen to nine men in upstate New York that they're never going to talk to. They'd rather follow and obey nine men that say, hey, listen, we're not inspired by God. And we're infallible. We make mistakes. 
Make that make sense. Anyone with common sense, that should be an automatic red flag. If someone tells you, listen, we're God's spokesman, you have to obey us, but at the same time, we're not inspired by God. We don't communicate with God. And, and we aren't perfect. We have new light. We have new information all the time because our information, our doctrines, our rules are always changing, always changing. If they say that to you, that should be an automatic red flag. When it should, something should click with witnesses. That should be a wake-up call. Hey, listen, whoa, they say they're not God's spokesman. They just, sorry, they say they are God's spokesman, but they say they don't, they're not inspired by God. Where's the common sense? I, I, I say to myself, how are, there, how are there 8 million people still in this organization when time after time, their leaders are showing them who they are? They're showing them who you are, who they are. And these are not God's spokesmen. I can tell you that right now. But you know what's sad? Jehovah's Witnesses, they would rather waste their entire life. They would rather wait until they're in their 70s and 80s and then say, say to themselves, you know what? They've been promising Paradise Earth for over 50 years. I'm now in my 80s. Wait, wait, what's going on? And then it's going to click. Then it's going to hit them that they've been duped. And by then, it's going to be too late. But I say to myself, why, as of right now, why are Jehovah's Witnesses, why are they still locked in that organization? Why are Pimos still supporting, like, why are they still there for their families? They're still in the, they're still in the religion just to keep their family and friends when they're not even real. They're not even real family and friends. Now, I can't speak for anybody else, but like I said before, when it comes to dating, right? If I know it's fake psychologically, I can't mess with it. The same applies to this religion. Once I've done my research, I said, I can't do this. This, this is a man-made religion. I'm not, I'm not about to be fake. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not about to play the land of make-believe, play in la-la land, and pretend like I believe in this bullshit just to keep my family and friends. No one should ever have to be fake to keep Conditional fake people. And I hate to say this. Jehovah's Witnesses, they are fake. The love they give is fake. We all know this. Because the minute you say anything that's out of line with what, what, what they believe, the minute you say, I don't believe in the governing body leaders, I don't believe in this religion, the minute you say that, guess what? All of your family and friends are gone like that. You should be able to say how you feel. You should be able to be true to yourself and true to all these people. And at the end of the day, you know what? If people truly love you, they should say, you know what? You don't want to believe it. You don't believe in this religion. That's cool. We still love you. We, we're still going to be here. We're still going to be here for you 100%. Because we don't care about your religious beliefs. We care about you. We care about you. We love you for who you are, not for what you believe in. So if anybody want to leave you because you're being true to yourself and you're being true to them, you tell them, guys, do your research. This is not the true religion. They should have enough common sense. Like I said, if you're ready to die for this religion, you ready to have your kids die? Oh, no, no, my kid's not taking blood. That kid's going to die. He's going to be resurrected in, in, in the paradise earth. Meanwhile, you can't even find paradise earth in the Bible. Like I said, there's no verse in the Bible that talks about people living forever on earth. So to, to all these Jehovah's Witnesses, they're about to have their kids die. They're about to die but something that they can't even find in the Bible. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. You see, this Jehovah's Witness religion, it's all emotional based. They was given a sales pitch. Oh, paradise, that sounds good. I don't want to die. I don't want my family to die. Yeah, paradise, yeah. They heard that shit. They didn't do their research. They, they, they got drawn in that sales pitch, right? It's all faith driven. This is the funny. It's hilarious. No Jehovah's Witness. They can they can't verify that paradise is actually gonna come. They can't verify that their nine leaders are actually God's spokesmen. There's no proof. It's all faith driven. And they're ready to die for nothing. They are ready to wait and waste their entire life for nothing. Imagine waking up in your 70s and 80s and reali realizing your entire life was a lie. Now, thank God I've done my research and I've woken up in my 30s. Thank God. But there are people waking up, doing their research in the 70s and 80s, devoting their entire life to this organization, this man 
self-made organization disguised as a publishing company. That's what it is. If you are Jehovah's Witness watching this, I encourage you, do your research. Do your research. Because guess what? When, you, when, you, when you're in your old age, when you're in your 70s and 80s, and you were born and witnessed, you realize you wasted 50, 60 plus years of your life waiting for something? That's never going to happen. A this earth, that's never going to happen. That is entirely on you. Because you could have you could have, and should have done your research. But instead, you gave all your trust to nine men in upstate New York. And meanwhile, you can't even find the two words paradise, earth, in the Bible. <laughs> meanwhile, you can't even find a verse where Jesus spoke about people living forever on paradise, earth. What? Make it make sense. Why are people still in the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses? And if you are a Pimo watching this, remember, those same people, your family and friends, you, you feel like you have a community, right? A, a lot of people saying it because they say we have a sense of community. Guess what? That community is not real. It's fake. Because remember, the minute you tell these people, your family and friends, you tell them anything that they don't want to hear. You tell them, you've done your research and this is not it. That same community would disappear like that. Once again, people that love you, they should love you for who you are on the inside, not for the religion that you serve. Not for no man-made religion on top of that. It's, it's a fake religion. So you're being fake for nothing, right? But overall, people should love you for who you are, not for what you believe in. Not for you. So that's why me personally, I could never ever say that. Once I did my research, I realized that this is not the truth. It was, it was a no-brainer. I had to leave. I said, all the people who's going to love me, who really love me, guess what? They're going to love me no matter what. No matter what I believe in. They're going to love me no matter what. They're going to be in my life no matter what. I should be able to tell them, guys, do your research. <clears throat> this is not it. Do your research. I should be able to say that and still have everybody. But all those people who decided to leave, my family and my JW friends, all they did was show me their true colors. They, all they did was show me that their love was fake. I'm happy that they, I'm happy that they are gone. No one needs anybody faking their lives. No one wants anything conditional. If it's not real, get the fuck away from me. No offense. Excuse my language, but get away. Get away. All I want is real love, right? So all of you Pimos, all of you people out there that's only in it just to keep your family and friends. Remember, it's not a real community. It's fake. It's superficial. It's surface level. Once you tell them anything that's out of line with what they don't want to hear, those people are gone. See you later. Sayonara, right? And all of you Jehovah's Witnesses, if you guys are watching, if you're on this fence, if you are having doubts, I encourage you, please, do your research. Because the last thing you want to do is wake up in your 70s and 80s. And every Jehovah's Witness knows this. <clears throat> every Jehovah's Witness knows that paradise should have been here years, if not decades ago. It should have been here by now. If there was a time machine, if you could go back to the 1970s, right? And you, if you were to talk to witnesses back in the 1970s and said, guys, I'm from the future. This is 2023. Paradise didn't come yet. They would smack the shit out of you. What? Paradise is going to be here in 2023? What cracker? What kind of cracker are you smoking? 2023? We're going to be eating watermelons. We're going to be playing with lions. What are you talking about? What? Waiting for paradise in 2023? You get out of here. If you went back in time, if you told those people that, all those witnesses who, who was patiently waiting back in the 1970s, 1980s, they would look at you like, what are you talking about? Paradise is right around the corner. And here we are in 2023. No one from the 80s or even 90s, nobody from back in the day would think that the system would still be here. But it still is. So if, you, if you're if willing and ready to wait another 40, 50 plus years for something that's never going to happen, if you're, ready, if you're willing and ready to let the rest of your, the rest of your life pass by, by all means, that's entirely up to you. That's up to you. All I'm encouraging you guys to do is do your research. We have one life to live. Do your research. Wake up from this cult. Live your life now. Guys, I love you. All I want is for every JW, stop following these nine men in upset New York. They're already telling you. They're not inspired by God. They're infallible. They're perfect. They make mistakes.
What else you need to hear? This is not it. Do your research. Wake up. Wake up. No, no one wants to wake up in their 70s and 80s. Don't, you don't want to do that. Wake up now. Do your research right now. If you believe that this is the truth, the book of Thessalonians encourages people, do your research. Test it out. Put it to the test. This is the truth, right? So it should be, it should be able to withstand any criticism. Put it to the test. Guys, do your research. See you guys on the next video.